Tushika Chang, it's your girl Stushy back with another video. If you are new, hey boo, my name is Stushy. To my returning subscribers, welcome back to the channel, y'all. Happy to have you guys back to check out a brand new video. Today is Stushmas Day 15. That means we have 10 more days until Stushmas is over. How have you guys been enjoying the last few videos? I know the last two were pretty short, but bear with me. So welcome to episode 12 of my Entrepreneur series. Also, welcome to Stushmas Day 15. Woo woo! Today I'm going to be diving into the do's and don'ts of entrepreneurship. So if you're interested, stay tuned for today's video. If it's your very first time seeing my face, be sure to click that subscribe button. And if you've been watching me for a while and you still haven't subscribed, click that subscribe button. Make sure that you guys are also turning on your post notifications. That way YouTube notifies you every single time that I upload a new video. And while we're still in the intro, give the video a big thumbs up. It doesn't take any time. All you got to do is click that little button and thumbs it up. So make sure you guys do that. So let's get into today's video. So if you're watching this, you're probably already an entrepreneur. You're thinking about becoming an entrepreneur or you just fuck with the kid. And either way, I appreciate you guys. So today I'm going to start off with the do's of entrepreneurship. So let's start. I'm looking down because I have all my notes written on my 7 plus. Don't come for me. New phone is on the way. Coming soon. Okay. It's not really on the way, but it's coming soon. Okay. <laughs> So let's start. Number one, and this is big. This is big, big, big. This is big on big. Promote yourself consistently, whether this is on Instagram, Facebook, and Target at your local supermarket. Every single day you need to be promoting yourself because you never know who your next client could be. You never know who your next customer could be. It could be someone at Target. It could be someone at Starbucks. It could be someone at you, you never know. So it's important that you promote yourself every day. Someone might scroll on your page and they're like, oh, I like this brand. Or, oh, I like the pictures that they post. Oh, I like the content. So you need to show up every single day for your brand. Consistency is key when you are starting a business, when you have a business. Anyone that knows me knows that I promote every single day. It could be at a bar. It, could, it doesn't matter. If I see someone with lashes that are falling off or they don't look too uptight, they don't look too great, I'm giving you my card. If someone inquires about my makeup, inquires about my hair or something that I know I might have a video to, I tell them about my YouTube. I'm always promoting myself. I promote myself every single day. I say it all the time. I am my brand every single day. Both Capra NYC and both This Dish Life. So you have to promote yourself. You never know who you may be able to help. You never know who may need your service. You never, may, you never know who may need your product. So make sure that you're promoting every day. The worst thing that they could say is no, I'm good. I'm all right. And all right, cool. <laughs> Maybe next time, you know, maybe it's the other person. You never know. So just make sure that you guys are promoting every day. Don't be scared to promote. And I won't say that I'm handing a card out to every single person that I pass. No, but I'll pick and choose. And usually the ones that I pick and choose are the ones that need my service or the ones that want or that are interested in watching a video or that are interested in purchasing a tweezer or a lash. You never know. So don't be afraid to promote yourself. Don't be afraid to reach out and ask someone or offer a service or give someone your card. The next one is to make goals and execute them. This ties into planning. Write your goals down. Write things down that you want to accomplish for your brand. Make sure you guys are writing those things down. When you start to write them down and actually visualize it, it's easier to execute these goals. It's easier to get these goals, to check these goals off your list compared to having it all up in your head. I tell you all the time, I keep a lot of stuff in my head. I can't remember every single thing. I have to write stuff down. When I take it out of my head and put it on paper, it starts to come alive, if that makes sense. If I keep it in my head, it will, it will always be a figment of my imagination. Like, I'd rather put it down on paper so that way I can make it reality. The next big thing is to understand that there's always room for growth. And this could be with anything. This could be with branding. You might want to change your logo. You're not completely satisfied with your logo. Just start. You can always change the logo after. You can always change the website after. You can always change the product description after. Just put something down and start. If you don't start, you will never start. If you keep thinking, uh, I don't know, it will never happen. So if you're fearful that it's not perfect in the beginning, don't worry about that. There will always be time for improvement. There will always be time for changes. You will always be able to change something down the line. You don't have to worry about making sure everything is perfect right then and there. Perfection happens over time. Don't worry about or don't stress perfection in the beginning. It will happen. It will take its time. And invest in your brand. Don't be afraid to invest in your brand because no one else is gonna invest in the brand if you don't invest in your brand. If you don't put the time in initially and invest, no one else is going to invest moving forward. You have to invest in yourself. You have to invest in your brand. The last big do is to stick to the 
plan stick to the plan don't ever stray away from the plan don't ever stray away from the mission statement don't ever stray away from the reason why you started keep the big picture in mind keep the mission statement keep the objective in mind all the time at the back of mind make sure it's always in your head because that way you know what you're moving towards you know what goals you're trying to accomplish you know what you're trying to achieve in the long run so don't ever stray away from the plan stick to the plan like big sean says make sure that the main goal is always in sight and now we're gonna head into the don'ts okay and these don'ts some of them you may already know some of them may already be in the back of your head but i just want to reiterate on some of these points and some of these don'ts okay and these are important don't compare yourself to anyone else and I know this can be hard sometimes, especially if you're another brand, if you're a brand that may sell lip gloss and there's another brand that sells lip gloss, but you may be scrolling on their page and you're like, oh, she's doing this, I'm not doing this, should I be doing this? You don't wanna get, you don't wanna start doing that. It's okay to acknowledge that someone is doing something, want to do something similar, but don't compare and don't get into your head and start to think, oh, maybe I'm not doing this right, or oh, trust the process, trust yourself. That's the main thing, is to trust yourself, okay? Once you start to go on other pages and compare and compete, that's when you lose. There is it, there is it. So don't do that, okay? That's the big don't, that's a big don't. Don't be afraid to get help. And this is one thing that I have to work on, I'll be completely honest, I don't like asking people for help. I don't like asking people for anything, for that matter. Um, so this is something that I'm still working on, but I wanted to put this on the list. I'm sure that I'm not the only person that struggles with this, I'm sure that one of you guys may feel the same way. You don't like asking anyone for help. You don't want to ask anyone to do anything for you. And this is not a good trait to have. It's okay to ask for help. It's okay to have a mentor. It's okay to have someone guiding you along the way or helping you along the way. And we may not want to ask for help because we may feel like it means that someone else is running the brand or someone else is in charge or someone else is or you just don't like being told what to do sometimes we need an opinion sometimes we need someone to share a tip or give us a tip or help us with packaging or help you know it's okay to ask for help i'm not saying to be dependent but it's okay to have someone help or reach out a hand or offer assistance as much as we may want to be head honcho hbic like it's okay to ask someone else to help you and understand that I'm speaking for myself. I understand that this message is also for myself because I struggle with asking for help and it's not, uh, I won't say that I need help, but sometimes it's just nice to have someone help you or assist you. Don't be too quick to push that away. This don't is gonna tie in with a, with a do that I mentioned in the past. Invest in yourself. The don't for this is don't be cheap when investing in yourself. Because scared money don't make no money, okay? Invest in good items. I'm not saying to break the bank. That's not what I'm saying. Don't break the bank, but invest correctly. Don't just be cheap about it because no one wants to pay for something that you have fast. And I, oh! No one wants to pay for something that is of poor quality. So make sure you're investing your coins so that you can see a profitable return. Your customers are receiving quality and not crappity. <laughs> don't rush the process. Don't put in the bare minimum. Put in as much as you can without breaking a bank. I say this again, you still gotta pay the bills. Put in as much as you can, but make sure that what you are putting out at the end of the day is of good quality. Don't cheat your customer, don't cheat your clients, they won't come back. And you don't want a bad review, that's the one thing you do not want. That's the worst thing to have is a bad review or a negative review. And the last don't that I have is don't overthink. Mm. Oh my goodness, this is a big one. Don't overthink it. I swear this is maybe the best one. Once you start to overthink, fear comes in, okay? And that's one thing you don't want to have in, a, in your mind when running a business, when having your business, when owning a business, whatever with a business, okay? Fear is your worst enemy, okay? Nothing happens with fear, okay? You got to kick fear in the butt. You got to get fear out the window. Bye-bye. Overthinking does not work. It's better to write it down, write it down on paper, think about how you can make it work. Plan out the ways to make it work instead of worrying about why it won't work or how it won't work or what will happen when it doesn't work. Get that out of your head, okay? Nothing happens with overthinking. You start to worry, it's just not a good deal. It's just it's just not. It's just something that we don't even we don't even need to think about. We don't need to talk about. Plan it out so that you can execute it. We're working on execution. We're not wor worrying about why it's not working. We're not worrying about how it's not, why it wouldn't work and what will happen. No, we're not doing that. 
So if you're thinking about starting a business and you're wondering, will it sell? Well, don't worry about that. Make sure that it sells. Do your best to make it sell. You can't worry about why it won't sell. How about you try to make it sell? So that is all for my do's and don'ts of entrepreneurship. I hope you guys really enjoyed today's video. Let me know in the comments what you thought of today's video. Be sure to click that subscribe button if you haven't already subscribed and joined the gang. Turn on your post notifications as well. That way you can notify you every single time that your girl uploads a new video. And give the video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed today's episode. I'll see you guys tomorrow if you're here for Vlogmas. If you're just here for my entrepreneur videos, then I'll see you guys when I see you. But I hope you guys will come back to check out another video on the channel. What are you doing? Hurry up and go back downstairs.